Okay, hey, you ready? Yes. Go ahead. Um, hi, my name is Hannah Atkinson, and I'm going to be talking about animal abuse. So by a show of hands, who has an animal? Okay, you guys might get a little upset about this, but I won't blame you if you cry. So <laughs> I tried to pick some pictures that weren't graphic. The thing in the back. Okay, so as an overview, I'm going to be talking about what animal abuse is, um, the types of animal abuse, the abuser and its victims, um, and then some examples that I'm going to focus on are puppy mills and um, animal hoarding, and then I'm going to conclude with ways to stop animal abuse. So first, what is animal abuse? Animal abuse are acts of violence that are perpetrated against animals for purposes other than self-defense. Um, some examples are cockfighting, dogfighting, and overt abuse. Um, but actually most of the cases that humane officers are faced with are unintentional and can be solved through like proper education on how to treat animals. The types of abuse are direct violence and neglect. Um, the Humane Society gives some examples of direct violence such as being beaten and mutilated or even shot and um, that can cause death. And then neglect is when um, owners don't give their animals the proper food, water, or shelter to survive. The most common victims of this abuse, um, penabuse.com found that dogs are the most common victims and pit bulls in particular constitute a growing number of cases. Out of almost 16,700 cases that were reported from 2000 to 2008, 52% of all dogs, 27% of the dogs were pit bulls. 16% um, cats and 8% horses. So the abuser. It's commonly believed that abusers have a predisposition to violence or actually suffered violence themselves when they were younger. Um, there's a strong connection between animal abuse and human violence, so it can lead to the abusers becoming murderers, um, committing domestic violence, or even rape. Um, Inhumane.org found that 48% of convicted rapists admitted to abusing animals when they were younger. So um, it's strongly recommended that if someone abuses animals, they go into counseling or get psychological help so these things don't happen in the future. Um, one of the biggest examples of animal abuse are puppy mills, which are um, large-scale commercial dog breeding operations that focus more on profiting um, instead of <coughs> well-being of the animals. They house the dogs in these overcrowded and unsanitary conditions without enough water and food, and they don't get enough socialization with the other dogs. Um, in order to maximize profits, the females actually are bred at every opportunity, and they aren't given enough time in between litters to recover. And once they can't breed anymore, they're either killed or sent to another puppy mill to try to get another litter. So it's really important when you're buying a puppy um, to make sure it's not coming from a puppy mill. Another example is animal hoarding. Um, these are like the crazy cat ladies that have 30 cats in their house. Um, actually 250,000 animals are victim to it per year and it's defined as having more than the typical amount of companion animals. Um, and because there are so many animals, the, the owners can't provide enough like shelter and water and food. Um, so it can result in the animals dying or being starved. So there are also a lot of health hazards that come with this, obviously, like urine, and it can even have like rodent and um, pest infiltrations to the house. What's interesting about this is a lot of the owners are in denial about it and think they're animal lovers, but in reality, they're killing their animals or are hurting their animals, so treatment is really difficult. It's also a sign of um, other disorders like OCD and ADHD, so treatment's really difficult. And even if you're in long-term treatment, there's a 100% return rate of animal hoarding, so it's a really hard thing to stop. So, ways to stop animal abuse. Um, on a lighter note, learn to recognize animal cruelty. There are physical signs and environmental signs. The physical signs are wounds, um, tick and flea infestations if an animal is limping um, or starving animals. Environmental is when animals are tied up outside with no food or water if they're in um, like inclement weather without adequate shelter. Another way to help is to support your local shelter like the ASPCA um, 
is PCA. And also, the fastest and the best way to stop animal cruelty is to report it to the local law enforcement. Um, you might, it's better to take pictures or to have facts so that they can build a case and you might have to testify, but it's all, it's all to help an animal. <laughs> Um, so in conclusion, I hope that I taught you some information about animal abuse and maybe you can include it in your life and help an animal. Um, so thank you. After Hannah, we have a Tarina. Did Tarina ever come back? Okay. Um, Jake, I guess you're going in. Nice. Are you going to join us?